Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to extract values from a column based on another column. So let's say for example you get this data. It looks like a text file and you want to find some way to turn this data into a table where you can do some analysis. And now this is a small example so it's kind of easy when you think about it but if this was a larger data set and we had more columns it becomes a little harder to do this in cut and paste. And what you want to do is you want to kind of find some pattern here. And hopefully there is a pattern, pattern if you can go back into your text file. So if I went to my text file that had this, you, right now it doesn't look like there's a pattern, but let's say I went to my text file and control A to copy or select, control C to copy. Let's go to a new sheet here and paste it in here. We'll just paste it all here and select all everything in the sheet, double click to auto fit. You see there is a pattern here, right? We, we've got a two column table. We've got our, we've got these headers here, categories here, and they're, they are separated above by these asterisks. So there is a pattern here that we can use. And if there's a pattern there that we can use, we can put it into Power Query to kind of get that data to come out like this in a proper table. So let's see how we can do that. Select my range of data here. Go into data from table and range. Uh, where's the data for my table? A1 to B26. My table does not have headers. I don't have any headers. So I'm going to leave that unchecked. Click OK. And the Power Query table, the Power Query editor is going to come up. And what we need to do is we need to incorporate some index columns. So I will go add a column here, add two index columns from zero to one, and then from, or starting from zero, and then one that is starting from one. So with this in mind, what I want to do is I want to make sure that I have a match between my first index column and my second index column. I want to see that five match with this five. So when that comes down, we'll have consumer services here match with, uh, we'll have this line here match with this line here. The, the, when you think about these two columns, these two columns, column one, column two, we want to see some, we want to see some matching. We want to see these uh, separate values here kind of in the same line. So what we're going to do, we're going to match five and five here. So I'm going to incorporate this table into itself. And that's going to be done with a merge. So I'm going to merge queries. And I want to merge index one, the first instance of the index, to the second instance of the index. So I only have one table here. So I'm going to merge that index to the second index. So they're going to match. Click OK. And if I click here, let's click on here, you're going to see that it's brought in those particular um, asterisk for the row here. Same here. That one's, oops, let me go down to this finance category. It's brought in that. So I want to have that available. So I'm going to expand that. So I need is my column two here because I want to see that being presented in my row here. And this is aligned. This is looking at the previous row, right? So consumer services, I want to see that look at the previous row. We've got that dash there. That dash is there. Finance, I want to see the value brought back from the previous row, which is that. It brings it back and puts it on the same row there. When that was done, you can see that my index kind of got messed up because the first index should have started from zero. Now you see that it's starting from zero down here. So I need to readjust that, make this ascending. And I've got my zero back here, which is that first record there. Now, what I want to do here is I want to add and if statement. So anytime I see that, I want to bring back that category because you can see now that category, when it's looking for that asterisk in this previous column, it's brought back a, another value in another column here. It's brought back that asterisk here in the same row. So let's add a column here and a conditional column. We're going to use some if statements. If, let me bring this down here. If this column, if this column contains, oh, it doesn't have contains here. Let's cancel this. Let's change our data type. Change that data type to just text. 
makes it easier. We have more options now. So go under conditional column and say if this added index column contains an asterisk, then I want to bring back the value from column one. Select this, enter column. We want column one. Otherwise, no. Click OK. And now we have our values here. Now we have our consumer services, which is in the same row here. And anything else here, if it's not that header or that category name, we want it to be no. It brought back errors because it's doing calculations or looking at the conditional logic on no, which will bring back an error. Let's get rid of those errors. Right click, replace errors with no. Anytime it sees an error, type no. Click OK. And now we have our consumer service. I'm going to move this over here to the first column here and make it the first column. So now you can see a little more clearly what I want to do, right? Because anything that is above this, anything, these nulls should be consumer service because all these records here or these rows are consumer services. Anything above finance, all these should be uh, finance. So I'm going to fill up. And you can do that by right clicking, go to fill, fill up, and you can see that it has applied it now. So now it's just clean up. I want to get rid of row, rows that uh, are empty here or rows that have the category here in this column and category here in this column. And I'll just look for some markers in the other columns to help me do that. You can see that this duplication here, we have a marker here that will tell us, oh, we can remove that column. So go here, uncheck that, click OK. That's remove that one. Now, I don't need these columns or these rows that have the category here and something empty here. And if I've got a category here and empty here, what other columns can I use to help fill that marker? Well, it's this. We've got these asterisks here. So click on that and remove that here. Click OK. And let's see if we've got any more that we need to remove. So I don't need this finance and a null, this healthcare and a null. So then in this instance, I can just remove the nulls here. So click on that, uncheck no, click OK. And now I have my records here. I can call this category, call this name, and I'll just call this one amount. I don't need these other rows anymore. Click that, shift, press shift key, click on the last row, right click, remove columns. And I've got my data here. Let's bring it into my worksheet, close and load, and then close and load and put it into this worksheet as a table. Let's bring it here into cell E1. Click OK, enter, uh, click OK, and now it's brought it in. You can see uh, our particular previous original data, which is in the text file, we put it into Excel. We saw some patterns. We see that we have our totals here, 12 consumer services. If I looked at my consumer services here, you can see that's 12 there. Uh, the same with finance. That all should equal to 29. We had that total here, 29. Finance, this one is 29. So that's how we can extract some column values based on another column. In this instance, we've got the text file where we found that there is a pattern here that we're looking for. and it's a good that there's a pattern that repeats that we can bring into Power Query and kind of make a proper table out of it. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.